Prophecy Chronicles with God's Servant Yamkala Joseph. In this broadcast you will receive updates on prophecies which the Lord has spoken through his enabled servant. The Lord says, an agreement far reasonable will be signed and stability will be restored in the nation of Congo. Now the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda have agreed to de-escalate tensions. This comes after weeks of rising unrest over rebel fighting in Eastern and Democratic Republic of the Congo. Anglon President Nao Lorenko, who mediated the talks between the two countries, has now announced a ceasefire. However, he provided no further details on the same. Anointing that upon this president and the law said that in his presidency, Congo will begin to thrive and there shall become peace and there shall become restoration of what has been stolen in that nation of Congo. So right now I want you to pray for Congo because the Lord said to me that there's going to become some attempt of some others to try to destabilize that nation. According to the United Nations, 72,000 people have been displaced due to clashes with the M23. There were many accusations that I saw against the president of Rwanda and I saw as if like there was a spitting of words that took place between another so just pray that rwanda doesn't get into conflict pray that it doesn't get into conflict or what is called a mini conflict or a mini kind of a war with any other country pray that it doesn't go there relations between the governments of rwanda and the democratic republic of congo have soured further after Rwanda's national air carrier announced the suspension of flights to Kinshasa, uh, Lubumbashi, as well as uh, Goma with immediate effect. And this comes after the DRC banned Rwandan traffic from its airspace. The DRC is accusing Kigali of supporting M23 rebels and has summoned Rwanda's ambassador to Kinshasa to address the issue. Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. Amos chapter 3 verses 7. The nation of the RC, which is Congo. The new president has been trying, but there the, the is a Lord that I will unveil to you right now concerning the nation of Congo. We speak what the Lord says because we believe that when the people know the mind of God, they know where to direct their prayer. Prophecy is not to entertain, not to, to entice, but prophecy is to guide us towards the right way to pray. So we need to pray for the Republic of Congo. Now, that nation is a very rich nation in minerals, in natural resources. Every hyena of the earth is fighting to get what that nation has. Now the God of heaven has spoken to me as I was in my prayer to speak to the people about praying for this nation, the D DRC. Now this is what the Lord says. To the newly president of DRC, Felix, he is trying, you are trying by all means to make things work. But the parties involved, they are demand, demand what is unreasonable and not in favor of the people of Congo. President, the people that are involved in the negotiation to make the nation stable. They are demanding what is unreasonable and not in, the f in, in favor of the people of Congo. This is where the source of conflict is between you, the president of Congo, and the, the, the people who are part of the negotiation process behind the scenes. They are demanding what is unreasonable for the people of Congo and for the future of Congo. Now, because of these demands, they are beginning to threaten and send threats. 
Now this is what the Lord says. The Lord heard them say, if you don't sign their demands, they will escalate the conflict as to cause much more war than it is to make the situation unrest and unsafe again. The Lord says he heard them say, if you don't sign their demands, they will escalate the conflict so as to cause much more suffering and much more chaos and unrest in the nation again. Those who have interest in the nation must look for a lawful way of engaging their interest, says the Lord, not blood. Those who have interest in the nation, instead of trying to cause more conflict because their demands are not met in the negotiation process, as they are talking right now behind the scenes, they must not cause conflict, says the Lord. The Lord says, instead, they must look for lawful ways of how to engage themselves and their interest in the nation of Congo without sharing blood. The Lord says, an agreement far reasonable will be signed and stability will be restored in the nation of Congo. An agreement that is far reasonable by this president, it will be signed. Then the law says, then it will be reasonable for the nation and for the people of Congo and for the other parties that also are, are part of the negotiation process. I will not mention names because of, of safety reasons. Now, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda have agreed to de-escalate tensions. This comes after weeks of rising unrest over rebel fighting in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Anglon President Nao Lorenko, who mediated the talks between the two countries, has now announced a ceasefire. However, he provided no further details on the same. This announcement comes after day-long talks between the two countries. These talks, so they were mediated by Angola. The Congolese army and the M23 rebels have been engulfed in violence. The DRC has accused Rwanda of backing the M23 rebels on several occasions. However, Rwanda has continued to deny these allegations. The Congo president said that the de-escalation process was important to restore the confidence of the people. De rétablir la confiance entre nos deux pays et surtout nos deux peuples. Now, President Shisekedi said that they had created a roadmap to establish diplomatic ties with Rwanda, adding that they were attempting to put an end to hostilities involving M23 rebels in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. He also said that he wanted the new roadmap to lead to sustained peace in the countries. Donc j'espère vraiment et j'attends de ce processus euh, qu'il apporte le cessez-le-feu immédiat et le retrait euh, de ce groupe du M23 en attendant évidemment que l'on mette en, en marche euh, le, le processus, euh, euh, la feuille de route qui amènerait un processus de paix, de stabilité et de confiance. Now, the new de-escalation process involves setting up a joint committee. The committee is set to hold its first meeting in the capital of Angola on the 12th of July. It includes seizing hostilities, exploitation of natural resources. However, the Rwandan state media said that the issue of M23 rebels will be dealt domestically within the framework of the Nairobi process. The M23 rebels, also known as March 23 movement, rose to prominence after they captured the eastern Congolese city of Goma in 2012. However, they were driven out by a joint offensive by UN and Democratic Republic of the Congo. Since then, the rebels have made significant advances in Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. They also captured the town of Bunigana on the Congo-Ugandan border last month.
this vision, I see the president of Rwanda, the current president by the name Paul Kagame, being threatened or entering into a conflict of threatening. And uh, I see as if I don't know what exchanges of words that begin to take place with another head of state but specifically in this vision, I see the current president of Rwanda involved on a speed kind of, of change of words uh, with another president of, I don't know if this is a neighboring country or it's still an African country as well. But I see like a serious contention between this president of Rwanda and I see words of threatening coming out. Fresh tensions brew amid Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda as the two nations trade charges against each other. The DRC government has accused Rwanda of backing resurgent M23 rebel group, which is active in its volatile east, while Rwandan government accused the Congolese army of firing rockets into its territory. Amid the soaring tensions between the two nations, U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken called for a diplomatic solution after meeting with uh, Kinshasa's top diplomat. I want you to pray for the nation of Congo. The Spirit of the Lord made it clear and clear to me that the nation of Congo is under a cage. There's a spirit that is binding that nation, so the administration that is in the nation of Congo cannot move forward and cannot serve to the interest of the people of Congo. Now the Lord has spoken to me that there are some interested parties in that nation to cause stability and to take the nation back to the state where it was before. But I hear the Lord say to me that I have anointed the current president of Congo with my spirit to become the stumbling block to what those who want to shake that nation, to what those who want to destroy that nation. There's an anointing that upon this president and the Lord said that in his presidency, Congo will begin to thrive and there shall become peace and there shall become restoration of what has been stolen in that nation of Congo. So right now I want you to pray for Congo because the Lord said to me that there's going to become some attempts of some others to try to destabilize that nation and don't and not allow the government system to do what it ought to do so that it can serve the people of Congo. But they want it to do what it want the what they want it to do and of which that is actually against the nation of Congo and itself. These are forces of darkness from outside of Congo, trying to dictate to the Congolese and to the people of Congo what should be done in their nation and what should come out and come in. Now the Lord is saying to me that the president is the enemy of these people who are surrounded the political arena in Congo. So right now I want you to pray for the president of Congo so that God may give him the upper hand. As the Lord said to me that I have anointed this president to break the yoke of darkness and to make sure that those who are trying to pull that nation down won't be able to stand. Because in his reign, the Lord said that I shall make sure that Congo is restored back to the presence of the Lord once again. I Rwanda's President Paul Kagame and the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC's President Felix Chisekedi being welcomed in Luanda by Angola's President João Lorenzo for a three-part peace summit. Now, both nations have agreed to a de-escalation process following weeks of rising tensions. The talks, brokered by Angolan President João Lorenzo, aim to de-escalate the violence which is flared between the Congolese army and the M23 rebels and which is ongoing. As President Lorenzo has said, it is a question of restoring confidence between our two countries and, above all, our two peoples. And that's why I said to myself that I would do everything in my power to move the situation forward, to get my compatriots out of this hell that has already lasted for more than 20 years. Among the six points on the roadmap for resolving conflicts in the region is the creation of a mechanism for verifying mutual accusations. The mechanism will be headed by an Angolan general. This is one of the key outcomes of this summit.
But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen in the latter days. Daniel 2 verses 28.